Hey guys, hey chosen generation, hey beautiful people of the most high God, how are you guys doing on this Saturday evening, it's Saturday, guys it's Saturday, it's raining here, cats and dogs here in Delaware, I tell you it's been raining pretty much all day, um, but that's okay because we have the light of God on the inside of us and it does not stop us from having a great day. You know, the rain don't stop nothing. The snow don't stop nothing. The sleep don't stop nothing. Hallelujah. Because God, hallelujah, the Holy Spirit is resting on the inside of us. Hallelujah. I hope you guys had a great day or having a great day today. It's about close to six right now. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope everything has worn well for you. Um, if it is your first time here, welcome. My name is me and on this channel, I give you whatever the Holy Spirit gives me, a word of encouragement, a prophetic word, a scripture, whatever he gives me, I give it to you. So welcome, welcome and welcome to all of my beautiful subscribers that have been with me from the beginning and those that have just became a part of the chosen generation of family of the most high God. Welcome guys. Let me give you guys a hug. Mm -hmm. That's a hug from me to you. Welcome, welcome, and welcome. I'm so happy to have you here as a part of this growing kingdom family of the Most High God. And make sure that you hit your uh, notification bell each time to make sure that you get every new video that comes on here, as well as like the video. It helps the channel so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Guys, I tell you, the Holy Spirit has been speaking to me today about us as the body of Christ getting to the front, forefront, hallelujah, uh, serving him, uh, not sitting in the back, not being in the back, um, if you would, uh, basically in the back of the bus. You know, he was giving me that scenario of in the back of the bus, meaning, meaning that we need to allow ourselves to get in the front of the bus, you know. I remember back as, as a kid in school, I always used to go to the back of the bus because I didn't want to be noticed, even in the back of class. I didn't want to be noticed. I never wanted to be one that was in the forefront of, you know, the, just being in front talking and stuff like that, um, like I'm doing now. But the Holy Spirit, once we once we uh, get a closer relationship with God, uh, we'll notice that we'll be push to even more to the front, you know, those areas where we wanted to be, you know, um, laid back, not really, uh, in front of people, not really, you know, per se ministering, you know, or serving, you know, it's all a part of serving, you know, a lot of times people just want to enjoy and not really have to be the one giving out. But the God is saying we're living in a season right now that he wants his people as a body to press into really, really giving out. We need to be giving out more and more and more and more. And every day we should be saying, I am available. Holy Spirit, I am available to you. You know, we should not be, you know, been in the church 20, 30, 40 years and we still in the same area of, of, of growth, not doing anything per se to reach another level in God. You know, not doing anything to say, okay, now, you know, let me get out here and, you know, minister over here. You know, maybe I can help over here, you know, in a woman's shelter. Maybe I can go over here, you know, and do something over here to, you know, um, look, Salvation Army, wh whatever, you know, feeding the poor, whatever God has given you. He's saying it's time to come into the forefront, not to be sitting in the back of the bus and waiting for everyone else to do things. And you're just sitting back observing and looking and saying, well, yeah, I, I that's nice. You know, um, I, I, I just thank God, you know, that that's nice that they can do it, but I'm just not the one to do that. Well, guess what? God is saying you are the one to do it too. You know, he has placed gifts inside of each and every one of us. Each and every one of us have something to give to the world, something to give to someone. And he said, it's inside of you as well. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So be obedient to God. You know, we don't want God to come down with his wrath and, and just really, really uh, have a, a field day out here with you. You know, when we're obedient to God, that's when we're pleasing him. But when we're disobedient, that displeases him. You know, so if God has placed something in your heart to do, be obedient and do it. Don't, don't, uh, you know, uh, be lax about it. And then stuff happened and you say, well, wonder why this happened. Well, 
Think about have you been obedient? Think about have you been doing the things that God's called you to do? Or are you just sitting back waiting uh, for something to happen where you'll say, oh, there's a sign. I can't, I, now I need to do it. No, God is saying now's the time to do it. Now's the time to be obedient to what I've called you to do. Now's the time for you to get to the front of the bus. Not to sit in the back of the bus and keep trying to hide back there because you don't want to be seen. God is saying get to the front of the bus and pretty soon you're going to be driving it. But right now you need to get to the front and then you're going to be driving that bus pretty soon. And it's a process. It's a process of just being able to allow yourself to truly be vulnerable and to be available for the Holy Spirit. It takes it's it takes time, but it takes prayer. And sometimes it takes fasting, you know. So whatever it takes for us to get where we need to get, to get closer to God, we have to be obedient and we have to do it. Amen. God is calling for us to be obedient. God is calling for us to be sold out. God is calling for us to lay aside every weight and every sin that so easily beset us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is calling for us. Hallelujah. Not to go by what things look like or how a person looks. You know, um, in the past, I've done housekeeping. And I remember someone saying to me while I was doing housekeeping, um, several people had said to me while I would be cleaning, uh, you don't look like a person that would do this. You don't look like the type of person that would do this type of job. What type of person looks like a cleaner? What type of person looks like a person that is a housekeeper? God is saying, this, don't go by in this day and time, in this time, in this hour, in this season. Do not go by how people look. You know what I mean? Don't go by the outer appearance. You know, go by the anointing of God that's on their life. Hallelujah. Go by the fruits of their life. Go by, hallelujah, your, your spirit will bear witness. Hallelujah with uh what what is of God and what's not of God. Your spirit, my spirit will bear witness. So just be obedient to what God has called us to do. That's what I hear the Spirit saying. Be obedient, press in even the more. Hallelujah. Get up if the Holy Spirit wakes you up at night to, to pray. Pray and do those things, hallelujah, that you need to do to get to the next level. We have to do those things. Amen. Hallelujah. It's not always easy working and doing things. And sometimes you say, well, I don't even have much time for myself. But guess what? There's a time and a season for everything. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And you always heard that saying, delayed gratification. Hallelujah. It's a process. God has taken us through 2024. Hallelujah. It's going to be amazing. It's a great year. Hallelujah. But God wants us to be obedient to the things he's called us to do. And we have to stop always sitting in the back. Hallelujah. Coming up front sometimes here and there. But God said he wants a consistency of being in front. Consistent. Hallelujah. And not trying to back out of doing things that God's placed on your heart to do because you just, you know, it's going to make you feel kind of nervous or fearful. God is saying, I'm right by your side. I'm with you. I want you to go ahead forth and do it. Be obedient to the things I've called you to do. Hallelujah. God will. He's a gentle and he's so kind. Hallelujah. But he will correct us. He will speak to us and he will correct us if we're listening. Hallelujah. Amen. So be encouraged, family. I love you guys. I just wanted to come on with that quick word that God has gave, given me to say a word of encouragement to push ourselves to the front of the bus and stay consistently. Hallelujah. Because pretty soon we're going to be driving that bus. Amen. We're going to be driving it. Hallelujah. With the power of the most high God with us. You don't have a reason to fear. God is on your side. God is with you. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me have a word of prayer with you. Father, I thank you for each one of the chosen generation family of the most high God. I ask that you would encourage each and every one of our hearts. I thank you for pushing each and every one of us to press in even the more, press in even the more, not to give up, not to get weary, but to press in, not to get tired, but to press in to the things that you've called us to do and to be consistent. Hallelujah. Not, uh, uh, anyway, laziness, I bind up laziness, I bind up slowfulness. Father, I ask that you would stir up your people, stir them up to be obedient in these last days, that we would do the things that you've called us to do and get to the front of the bus and begin to drive the bus. Hallelujah. To win souls, to do whatever you have called us to do with those gifts and talents and abilities on the inside of us for your glory, God. In Jesus name we pray. Amen and amen. 
I love you guys. I truly do. Be encouraged. Know that God is working for you behind the scenes. He is working everything out. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Be sure to hit your notification bell. If you don't already have it on, make sure your notification is on as well as like this video and leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. I love you. Be encouraged. And remember, you're a chosen generation. We are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. God bless you. I'll talk to you soon.